I was very pleased to be asked to exhibit at the Rydale Folk Museum because it's a, a small open air museum just in the next village actually, it's very local and it is about uh, local people, about um, their lives and their work and so it felt very nice that I will be bringing some of my things, um, things that I had made uh, to show in an exhibition here. Um, in addition to that, actually, the museum is about the same age as me. And it's rather nice to think when I was in my pram, the first volunteers were setting about putting collections together and thinking about showing them. Here to Idea Folk Museum is the Harrison Collection, a beautiful collection of curios and objects that span over five centuries. We felt that this specific exhibition, uh, Jennifer's work in sculpture in 3D, would be ideal to reflect the images that we have here, many of which of the centuries are artworks in themselves. I was uh, completely struck by the wonderful ornamentation and craftsmanship in ordinary domestic objects. But those objects had decoration on and ornamentation, which was beyond anything useful. It just made them very pleasing objects. One of the items in particular that, that I found really charming was a large magnifying glass set in a beautiful little iron cup uh, which was used by pipe smokers for lighting their pipes. And this uh, object re really it, it took, took my fancy and so I made it in stone. And another theme that arose out of the collection for me was that of lightness because of all these wonderful objects which have been in cupboards, under the bed, in wardrobes, in sheds, in the dark and now they're all brought out in the open into the light and that my objects should have a lightness which brought me to alabaster. As it happens it's English alabaster which is a very rare stone and at the moment you're just seeing the rough sawn block um, but when it's worked and polished this these veinings and colorings come out in a beautiful rich rust color and i mean already you can just see, begin to see the the translucency of it and and the magic of of what is alabaster So you may wonder why uh, there is a whale carved um, in the exhibition. And I made the whale because of the lovely connection that it has with pieces in the Harrison collection. Uh, the whale bone pieces uh, that were often used in, in ladies' clothing. And also the scrimshaw um, from a time when people were often away at sea and the whaling industry was huge along the coast here. Also, I discovered that in times past, uh, when the industry of alabaster in the UK was huge, that the way and means of polishing it was by the use of whale oil. And so I felt uh, a whale was, was very suitable to carve in, in alabaster, which naturally leads me to one of my passions and interests in wildlife and animals and birds and particularly this season um, the pollinators, insects. The first thing that our visitors see when they visit Rydale Folk Museum is the art gallery. So we were looking for artists whose work reflects what we have in the museum. Jennifer's work, we felt, was one of those artists who had contemporary work, but yet could take objects from the past and translate them into more of a modern day image taking form.